Hi guys, I want to talk about setting up the 3CX phone system and provisioning a Polycom IP650 phone. Uh, I went with uh, 3CX because it's a pretty easy to use system. I've tried Cisco Call Manager, that sounds probably the best, but it's super expensive and super complicated to program. Uh, Avaya sounds pretty good too, uh, but you're stuck with their phones. And you know, I kind of wanted something open source and uh, easy to use. And you know, there's Trixbox and some other uh, software based Linux type of phone, uh, phone systems, but they're really complicated and hard to use. Uh, the great thing about 3CX, it runs on Windows, it's stable and you can pick any phone you want and um, so if you go to their site you can see that there's a bunch of phones and uh, the preferred one of the Yealinks I mean the Yealinks are okay they're a good value but I don't like their head their uh, handset they have to be they have like a little hole for uh, talking and your 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 mouth has to be a certain distance for someone to hear you it's um, it's, it's good for value, but, uh, we had a warehouse environment and, uh, Polycom noise canceling is, is, uh, you know, unsurpassed and, uh, and also the quality, call quality, I'm getting reviews from our users. The call quality is amazing. So I'm happy. It was kind of a risk to do it, you know, to use a, a software based PBX and, uh, this is the Polycom 650. I went with this ones because I tried the lower ones. They sounded okay, and this one sounded the best. It also boots up the fastest. The other ones seem to be a little slower. Um, so you know, you know, you could get this phone on Amazon for 200 bucks, which is a great deal, I think, and it's really durable. So we're gonna talk today. I wanted to just show you. I brought a couple home because I had to do some configuring at home uh, to get the system up and running. So first thing to do is get TFTP 64 and kind of wanted to do this video because it was such a pain in the butt to figure this all out uh, at the get-go so I wanted to help some people out and have maybe some more IT people use this 3CX uh, software because it's so great and get rid of your old traditional PBX uh, so go download TFTP from the site and get this running and then you, when you go into the 3CX site you go to their support page and you will find the Polycom 650 phone click on that and you'll see up be on firmware 407 and Polycom's a little confusing with how to update your phone to this. It took a while to learn how to do this. So this is why I made the video. It's a pain in the butt and they call this stuff an upgrader. So you need TFTP to do this. Um, basically, you grab their update files, which I have uh, used this one folder, which is the first update you're supposed to do. And then you do a second update. So let's let me show you how I did that. You go to explore here and go to the first update folder, highlight everything, and just copy all that stuff to the TFTP work folder. And then you get some prompts from Windows 7 about permission, just say continue. Boom, that's done. Now, the best way to hook up these polycom phones in my opinion is to use poe and to get an injector or get a switch to do it so for net for what i did i use these micro semi you probably can see the model number gig injector and that way your install is nice and clean and you don't have any power bricks hanging around so let me plug this polycom phone in so, I'll light a little low so 
pardon me for that. Plug it into the LAN port. And you should be booting up. You hit setup. The password is let me get my phone. It's a little hard to do this one with one hand, but I'm trying my best. You know what? Let me try this. It's four five six. You hit OK. Then the trick is to disable DHCP. Actually, let me see. Yeah, disable DHCP. And uh, let me see what happens actually if DHCP is enabled. Usually, if it's on a network and you have a 3CX box on your network, uh, DHCP option 66 might be configured. So it might screw up these updates, but if you have this on a home network with no option 66 and no 3CX box, uh, it might work. So let's just leave it enabled and see if that makes things easier, which it hopefully does. Then you go all the way down to server menu. Change that to TFTP. And then let me get my IP address. Hold a second. Put this down for a second. So the IP address of my home machine is 192.168.1.18 and hopefully my firewall is off for TFTP to work so we'll try. Okay, we have to press this button here to get the one to work one and just uh, 192. Oops. One six eight dot one dot eighteen. You hit OK. So you set up. You hit the checkbox here, and then so we just changed server type to TFTP triple FTP. Put the server address, which is my local PC. Leave everything else the same. Hit exit. DHP is there so let's see what happens save and reboot yeah the other polycom lower versions took forever to reboot and it was painful to set them up so I went with the IP 650 which is probably their one of their high-end ones without the color display so this is uh, good enough for us so let's see if uh, if DHCP doesn't work, use static IP and it will work. And that's like one of the tricks that I spent like an hour to figure out why it wasn't not working. So just use static IP uh, initially to get this thing to the right firmware so you can get 3CX to connect to it. So it looks like it's working. It's downloading the new boot ROM. And notice I don't have the headsets or any of the, the other uh, peripherals connected. So what I usually do, let's get my computer screen on, it keeps timing out, is you get a bunch of phones and you upgrade the initial firmware upgrade. And after you do like seven phones, you do the final software upgrade and then uh, you're good to go and I'll tell you what you do afterwards let's just do this so basically it goes and then it reboots a couple of times So, boot ROM updated. Let's 
formatting file system. You probably could just walk and get some coffee while it's doing this. It's doing its thing. It's going to reboot a couple times. Maybe I think one more time after this. So I think Polycom calls this an uploader, and the only thing about Polycom I, I don't like is uh, I think if you're a distributor, it's kind of hard to get support from them. Uh, and you go to the site, and it's sort of confusing what you need to get. But other than that, uh, the phone's great. It sounds great. It's got awesome noise cancellation. Um, really great for a warehouse environment and also it's just clear it's you know polycom is going to be a leader so you see, notice the font change so it did some updating if you did this on an older uh, lower model polycom it would take would take longer its processor is probably a little slower So just to rehash, all we have to do is, if it's your home network and 3CX is not installed anywhere and DHCP option 66 is not set, you can do DHCP, which is cool and saves a lot of ta time. And I, I probably should just set up a lab network at the office to configure these things because it's a pain in the butt to put static IP addresses all the time to configure each phone. So you're uh, saving a ton of time with DHCP. And then all you have to configure is the server type, and I showed you in the menu. And you just type in um, TFTP and then the IP address of your machine, um, which you could use uh, IP config on your Windows in a command prompt, and they'll give it to you. Um, So it depends where you get your uh, polycoms, you know. Sometimes step two is not needed. And I think you don't really need it to do on this phones because it's already up to that firmware or whatever. But uh, I just like to do both steps. And uh, that sets up the phone and gets it ready for uh, provisioning with 3CX. Okay, so it's done. See, it's at this menu. You got endpoint, you got the time. And all you have to do, see, it's doing something right now. It's downloading some files from TFTP. Here we go, here we go. Did some updating and it's done. So once you get to that point, um, you go here and you go to, I just made it easy for myself. TFTP second one, and that's more uploader files I got from Polycom. Um, and so basically you go into your TFTP di directory here, Explorer, let me get that onto the side here to show you. Sorry, let's see. So just delete all those files here and then uh, basically copy all the new files here and if you want these files uh, just message me on YouTube or leave a feedback and I'll put them somewhere on the internet that you can get them zipped up uh, to make your life easier because that's half the battle is getting these silly fi updater files on Polycom and figuring out which, uh, which ones you need and once you get them you'll be good to go so copy all this stuff after you delete the previous uh, updater files on TFTP, copy that to the TFTP directory. Go to your phone, pull the cable in the back so the it loses power, plug it back in. It's gonna do its thing, it's gonna reboot a couple times and then you'll be good to go. Um, I'm not gonna update 
the files because I got like seven phones to configure. So I'm gonna plug each one, do this first step, get them all updated with the first updater. Then I'm gonna plug in, then I'm gonna copy the second file to the TFTP directory and um, and then plug in the phones again and it's gonna do its thing. It's gonna reboot, you go get coffee, you hang out, you go look at your computer, you go surf Facebook or whatever you, you're gonna do. And they'll be done and um, that's all you have to do. Uh, don't try to log in the phone and use the web interface to upload it. It's not gonna work. It's These IP phones want to be updated using TFTP and that's the best way. I looked at this and you don't wanna suffer all the wasted hours that I suffered trying to figure this out. Cause I kinda of did this myself with no support and that's why I'm making this video to help other IT people who are not familiar with IP phones uh, get into it because this is uh, a great technology. It's better than the Cisco call manager because it's uh, more cost effective and you can use it on any phone you want. Call quality is great. Run it in Windows 2008 or Windows 7, but I prefer Windows 2008 R2. And then when you get to the point where you're ready to provision, um, all you have to do is get the, let me see if I can focus, the MAC address. You type that into 3CX you log back in with the 456 login. You take out the TFTP IP address you put in. You put DHCP on if you took it off because it needs to be DHCP. You need option 66 set. And I can talk about that if I make another video. You boot up, um, you go into 3CX and you type in the MAC address and the type of phone. It takes like two minutes and then you boot it up and 3CX will do some updating and load itself in there using the SIP protocol. And SIP's just a protocol. That's the easiest way to think about it. And your phone will be good to go. So uh, I hope this helped you guys out. And, uh, you know, I guess this summary is just get uh, the Polycom IP650 is probably the best. I like it the best, it sounds the best, it's the easiest to configure, and it's the fastest to configure. It doesn't take you the whole damn day to wait for this to uh, update, which some of these Polycom phones, I won't lie, is the, 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 the lower model ones, let me see if they take forever to boot, just forever. I mean, if you're uh, budget conscious or you have a, some sort of cost constraint, then yes, you can use them and they'll sound great, but it's just such a pain to use um, the lower models. And then either go with a switch with the inject uh, PoE plus capability, or just use these micro design. Uh, uh, Mid-span injectors, I guess that's what they call them. Uh, I don't like using a power brick, it's kind of ugly, but you can go that route too. And uh, I think it's got a port here and you can just get them at the, um, when you get your Polycom phones and you know, there's a lot of places to get th these phones and uh, what you call it, uh, just Google and uh, you can get the best price. But uh, Amazon had the best price. They were, I think, $200 or so and uh, pretty damn good phones. Thanks guys.